35 years ago or so, I took over a store in the number one mall in the world, South Coast Plaza. And uh, they had had a guy who was not used to luxury retailing. He had been running the store. And what we ended up seeing was that the numbers had just been uh, getting lower and lower. The average check was down. Employees weren't making commissions. Uh, there, they weren't doing any kind of training and pretty much the goal was to just get the customer the hell out of the store by asking, uh, what can I help you with? And if they didn't have, you know, tell you exactly what they wanted, they left. And so one of the first things I did was I re-merchandised the entire store. That was really one big thing, but also I took an awful lot of time with training and that's pretty much what I'm known for is a sales trainer. In fact, I'm going to be in St. Louis here, uh, geez, 10 days working with a uh, group of uh, photo retailers uh, because the all important holiday season is here and you have to train that every single day. If you really want to move the needle of sales, you can't just have a meeting and then say, oh, we're done. You have to actually make that part of your culture. But you know what, when you do that, when that fresh feeling of, oh, someone's driving the ship, great, then amazing things can happen. I got the highest increase of sales, the number one mall in the world because I changed the vision. It was the same store, I had the same merch. What changed was my attitude about it. What changed about it was my eyesight and said, well, that doesn't work and that doesn't work and we're a luxury brand, so why do we have all these sale tags over everything and why does everybody look like they just uh, sucked on a quince when they're waiting for people? Well, they're not making money, they're not happy. So somebody has a question for me today about motivating employees. But that's my big idea for you today is start November 1st with a fresh set of eyes and really stop and look at what's important. You know, I talked to my blog on Monday on a Sunday night about one of the things I think is really powerful to do. You're going to laugh, but I think you should go and you go to every corner of your store and just sit on the floor and just take a look around, look up, look side, look down the aisles, and you get a different opinion of your store because you aren't used to seeing things in that manner. And that's the goal for I want you to think about today and maybe you'll go off and do something with it tonight. Uh, otherwise, like or whatever it is, and you'll just keep doing the same thing. And you know, that's the definition of insanity. <laughs>